Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello viewers, welcome to our today's biology lesson. My name is Stephen Karyongi. Uh, today we are going to continue with the characteristics of Kingdom Monera. Last lesson, we did three characteristics of Kingdom Monera, and these characteristics are as follows. Number one, we saw that Kingdom Monera has organisms that are unicellular or single-celled. Number two, uh, we also uh, saw that uh, members of Kingdom Monera, they have a cell wall, but not made of cellulose. Number three, we also saw that uh, members of Kingdom Monera are prokaryotic. That means that they lack a nuclear membrane. So today we are going to continue with the other characteristics. So the fourth characteristic Kingdom Monera. So we are looking at the characteristics of Kingdom Monera. So number four is that Kingdom Monera they lack membrane bound organelles. And in this, we are going to give an example. Those membrane-bound organelles include things like the mitochondria, things like the chloroplasts. So those ones are not there. They are not present in Kingdom uh, Monera. Number five, the other characteristic is that the members here have few organelles. They have few organelles and these few organelles are as per what we saw in our previous lesson, the cell wall, the nuclear material, basically that. So they are not as many as other cells that we have in our bodies. Characteristic number six, uh, we shall also look at uh, the mode of reproduction. How do the bacteria multiply themselves? How do they multiply themselves? And we say that they multiply themselves asexually. They multiply themselves asexually, meaning that there is no fertilization that is involved. So they have what we call asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction, meaning that they have no gametes. There are no gametes used during reproduction. Otherwise, if it was uh, involving gametes, we would call it sexual reproduction. But now we are saying that bacteria have asexual reproduction where there is no utilization of gametes. Now, one of the methods by which the bacteria reproduce is through a method called binary fission. Binary fission is one of the methods, one of the modes of asexual reproduction. It's one of the modes of asexual reproduction by bacteria. So we shall look up at uh, binary fission in other details, uh, in more details when we go through the topic of reproduction. The other characteristic, the other characteristic is that uh, some bacteria, not all of them, some bacteria are autotrophic while others are heterotrophic. What does that mean? It means there are some bacteria that can synthesize their own food and we have others that cannot synthesize their own food. So this one we will say some. So we are saying that some are autotrophic, i.e. can make own food, So we are saying that uh, 
Some are autotrophic, that means they can make their own food, while others are heterotrophic, that means that they rely on already manufactured food. The next characteristic is in terms of movement, also known as locomotion. How do bacteria move? Uh, there are two ways in which the bacteria move. Some have what we call flagella, which is a locomotory structure, a structure used for movement, while others have what is called a pseudopodia. So we'll say that some move by flagella, while others move by use of pseudopodia. Pseudopodia is also known as false feet. They form some false feet as put into brackets. Flagella, it's as shown in the diagram. There are some structures used for movement. So that is basically the characteristics of Kingdom uh, Monera. Uh, just briefly, I'll mention the economic importance of bacteria. How are bacteria important to human lives? So the next, we shall look at uh, the economic importance. The economic importance of bacteria or the economic importance of kingdom uh, Monera. One, we know that bacteria cause diseases and those diseases affect both humans, that is animals, and also affect even plants. So we can say that one, they cause plant and animal diseases and animal diseases. And we mentioned some diseases at the beginning uh, when we mentioned diseases such as cholera, typhoid, and so on and so forth. Number two, bacteria also cause uh, food decay, makes food to decay, thus causing spoilage. They make the food to spoil. You cannot store food for a very long time because that food will decay. That decay is attributed to bacteria. Number three, another importance of bacteria, we have some bacteria that are used for nitrogen fixation. So they are used for nitrogen fixation. used for nitrogen fixation, a process that adds nutrients into the soil. So today we've learned uh, the characteristics of Kingdom Monera. We've seen that uh, they lack membrane-bound organelles, such as mitochondria and chloroplast. We've also seen that they have a few organelles. Uh, their mode of reproduction is asexual. That means it doesn't use the gametes. For example, uh, one of the modes of asexual reproduction that is used by bacteria is called binary fission. We shall look at binary fission in more details in other topics. Their mode of nutrition is either autotrophic or heterotrophic. And then finally, they move by flagella or pseudopodia. And I've explained those uh, two terms. Then finally, we have also looked at the economic importance of bacteria, whereby we say that they cause plant and animal diseases. We have diseases in animals such as cholera, typhoid in humans, and so on and so forth. They cause food decay, uh, something that leads to spoilage of food. That's why food cannot be kept for a very long time because of the bacteria. And then finally, uh, bacteria, they are used for nitrogen fixation so that nutrients can be added into the soil. So the assignment uh, for today 
is based on what we have learnt and is as follows. What is the importance of bacteria to human beings? So that's the first question. The second question, name two locomotory structures use so those are the two questions that uh, make today's assignment the first one what is the importance of bacteria to human beings question mark and then the second question name two locomotory structures used by bacteria for movement another question mark so that marks the end of uh, today's lesson uh see you next time and have a good day